This is the first time that the Methodist Church in Britain has celebrated LGBT History Month as we have done this time. And I'm grateful to all those who have made it happen. To Delis Liddell and our EDI advisor Bevan Powell, who have taken the lead on this. To those who have contributed blogs, prayers and comments. To our communications team, who have put everything together. It's nearly 30 years since the conference said that it recognised, affirmed and celebrated the participation and ministry of lesbians and gay men in the church. And it is good that that is precisely what we've been able to do this February. If you have not yet read the material on the website, can I encourage you to do so? Over the last two years, we've been working on our inclusive church strategy. One of the key points that the Council agreed early on was that our diversity is not an issue of which we need to be aware, but rather an enrichment of our life that we should celebrate. As we endeavour to do that, we commit ourselves to the eradication of discrimination. But, as Lois Tucker helpfully recounts in her blog, what is injurious sometimes is not overt hostility, it's the little things that we say or do which tell gay people, you don't really belong here. That that has ever been heard in the church is tragic. As LGBT plus History Month reminds us, we owe so much to those LGBT people who have contributed in so many ways to the life of the church. Again, quoting Lois, we have come a long way in 50 years, she says, and I'll never not be grateful for that. Marking that journey this February is a small but important sign of how far we have come. Thank you again to those who've helped us to see that and who help us to continue the journey. <laughs>